Oh. <laughs> What's up, dudes? It's been a while since I've said that. But hi. Welcome back to Coverly Chaos, where we are thriving, surviving, and sometimes diving. Oh, it feels good. Okay. We are... Right now, you know what? We're thriving because it feels good to be back here um, doing this. Wow. I didn't know how, like, nostalgic that would feel. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to knock one out, film a YouTube video, like, whatever. But, like, this feels good. Okay. I made the right decision. Okay. So, hi, guys. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. It has, so this is just gonna, <coughs> I don't know what just, my body ain't like in New Mexico. I don't know what that's about, but anyways, back to business. Okay, um, <laughs> this video is basically the I'm back um, and I'm just gonna give you kind of a, a little life update. Um, I'm a flight attendant now, in case you you live under a rock. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I haven't really, uh, I mean, I've made like one post on my Instagram, like, and if you didn't see it, I'm not that cool, like I get it. So, um, yeah, I am a full-time flight attendant now. I have had a lot going on. So reselling kind of took a back seat as I uh, tried to figure that out. Um, obviously content creation took a, like, she wasn't, e she wasn't even in the car. Like she, reselling was in the backseat and like, I, I left content creation like in the, in the garage, I guess. I don't know. Like I, I had a good analogy for it and then my brain just like did what it does and it just, it left. It's gone. I left it on the plane, like before I got here. So, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, um, <clears throat> so I was just going to give you a little life update. Um, I think the people should know. No, uh, I don't really care if you care. I, that was a bad way of saying that. I do care if you care. I, I, we're going to try, guys, this isn't going to be edited. So you're going to see all of this live and in, the, and I, I'm going to apologize just right now for what has already transpired and for what you're about to see in the next five, 10, hopefully not more than that. Hopefully not more than 10. If I, if this video went longer than that, I, I just fired. Um, oh, this would be such a fun video to edit too. Like with all my, you know, like phone, zoom in, phone, zoom out. Okay, just pretend I'm just gonna zoom in, zoom out, okay. Oh God, Chloe, get back, get back to it, Chloe. God damn. Ooh, I don't think I can say that on, I can't edit. I might have to edit that out. Uh-oh, I'm not monetized, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I meant a dam, like a, like Hoover dam, you know? Like the, like a beaver at a dam, you know? Okay, so anyways, so I'm a flight attendant. I moved back, I, well, I moved to Minnesota uh, for a short-lived period. Um, not that short, I gave it nine months. Uh, I got based at MSP, so I was like, you know what? Full send, right? F around and find out, like, <laughs> um, So I decided, you know, I'm just gonna move there. Uh, had the worst winter I've ever experienced. Um, the worst winter that I will ever experience, cause we ain't doing that again. Mm -mm -mm. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to go deal with another Minnesota winter. No, you could not. Maybe a million. But it'd have to be, like, upwards of 500K. Like, it'd have to be. No, it'd probably be more than that. I don't know. That was rough, guys. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so I don't know. Jack and Ryan, I don't know how you guys do it. Um, anybody else? Maybe it's because you grew up there. I feel like it's different if you didn't grow up, like, in California. Like, if you've never tried a cookie, you don't know what a cookie tastes like. And you don't know what you're missing, you know? Like... Or, like, if, you know, if you're, like, you've never had In-N-Out in your life and you're, like, yeah, Whataburger's the best burger, it's, like, well, that's because you've never had In-N-Out, so you really don't know. So you can't make, like, a, 
a, an accurate description, you know what I mean? So, like, the friends that I made in Minnesota were all like, oh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, and I'm like, that's because you don't know the difference. Like, oh, that's all I'm saying. So, I am a California girl, born and raised, and that is just at heart who I am, and I have got to be there. So, I learned that. I gave it nine months. I tried it. I moved there completely. I had a life there. Um, and I just was done. My time there was done. I did it. I, I went. I did it. I conquered. And I left faster than a friggin'. My analogies just aren't there today, guys. I don't know. I'm not on my feet. I'm tired. I've been up since three. Oh, we had an early report time in Bakersfield this morning. It was rough. Um, but we're in New Mexico for the rest of the day. It is uh, 12. Nope. We're an hour ahead. Are we? I don't even know. It was 140. It's 140. We're an hour ahead right now. I'm in Albuquerque for the night. So go home tomorrow, day three or four, you know, trucking strong. Um, that wasn't the point of this video. Oh, God, we're at six minutes. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I moved to Minnesota. And then I decided that I couldn't do it. Um, I moved back to LA. I am LAX based. I got my transfer on the first time, which was nice. Boop, boop. Um, I have been LAX based now since April 1st. This will go out, I mean, hopefully today. Um, so you're seeing this live and in, live and in action. Um, don't murder me since you know I'm in Albuquerque now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am LAX now and my biggest goal right now is getting race selling back. So I am going to make another video about my time in Minnesota, my life changes and about my goals and stuff going forward. So I'm not going to go too deep into it. Um, so if you do want to know all that, stay tuned for that video. It, it'll come out soon. Um, I always say that I'm, I'm always like, this is going to come out soon. And then it's like, never happens. And it's probably like sitting on my phone in a dry. Like I filmed the video guys. Like, don't think I don't do it. Like I do film the video. It's not the filming that it gets me. It's the editing and getting it out. So <laughs> TWSS number one of the count. Thank you, Veronica and Glamma for keeping count for me. Um, but yeah, so it's that part that just gets me and it doesn't happen. So I got to be better about that. Um, I am also getting back into podcasting now that I'm here. So this will probably, you'll probably be hearing this. Uh, I am going to I'm going to cross pollinate. I will do some podcasts that are only podcasts, some videos that are only videos. Obviously you don't want to podcast a haul. That wouldn't be very exciting, but I do know that a lot of my viewers on YouTube are not the same as my listeners on my podcast. And I totally get that because I only listened to podcasts for like years, didn't care about YouTube um, until I met some YouTube friends and was like, I should care. Um, I still honestly listen to podcasts more than I watch YouTube. I haven't watched YouTube in a hot minute, especially reselling YouTube. I have not watched reselling YouTube since I have been off YouTube pretty much. Um, unless it's like glam on Veronica's lives. Like that is the extent of what I've done on YouTube. Um, and it's only because they told me like eight times when their live was and I was still late, uh, but I showed up. So yeah, so I'm gonna get back to podcasting. Um, I'm gonna get back to YouTube podcasting. I'm more consistent on usually. So um, I'm really gonna try to put out weekly episodes and weekly videos. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening right now, you can't see the face I'm making, but it's a, it's a big goal for me. But hopefully, um, until July, I'm giving myself, you know, I'm going to give baby wheels. So in July, hopefully by then we have a set, you know, week, 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 I've got something or other that's going out, you know, whether it's a two minute video or a three hour video, it's not going to be guys. No, I would not subject you to You've sat here for 10 minutes already dealing with probably two minutes of actual information. And if you are, I love you for you. I do. Thank you for loving me for me. And if you're watching this to make fun of me, that's okay too. I love you still. Cause I would do the same thing. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so easy. I'm so easy to make fun of. I was gonna say I'm so easy and pause and then say to make fun of, but I figured that was inappropriate for the YouTubing. But I did have to still call it out. So that W T T T W S S number two, I'm doing it for you guys. It's so easy. I gotta stop. Okay. So yeah, so I'm getting my podcasting, getting back into YouTubing. 
Um, right now, I'm only on Poshmark. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. Um, yeah, so I didn't really do much when I was in Minnesota. It, the business barely stayed alive. It did. It stayed alive. I still have my employee. Uh, she's doing the shipping. She still is doing the shipping, even though I'm back in L.A. because I'm gone for, you know, I'm gone four days a week at least. So, uh, obviously not really gonna be shipping on time if that's happening so she's great i'm still doing that i'm gonna have a video coming out of that of how to find yourself a what i found um a sophia as i like to call it find yourself a sophia because that's her name and i love her um but yeah so she is amazing and i still have her um doing shipping for me um but actually in like frankly honesty um the last like four months i have been losing money um, because I have my storage unit and I have her, um, and I just was not, it was a lot more challenging than I think I had anticipated it being. Um, and I love a challenge. I do. I, I really love a challenge, but that was just, uh, yeah, that was hard. Um, and I was working at Victoria's Secret as well. Um, on my reserve days, making some cash there, cash money. Um, and it was just, yeah. And I was just depressed. I didn't want to do it. I just was, yeah. It came to a p point that I had quite literally made the decision to close Cubby the Chaos. And I'm really glad I didn't. Um, and that was before I had decided to move back. And, you know, I was saying that and I was like, you know what, it's time to just, and I was like, this isn't me. This isn't, I, I don't like this. Um, because this is what I love. I love doing this. Um, I love being a business owner. I love doing content creation on reselling. I love helping new people. I love mentoring. I love when it all, I love everything about my job. I love it. And so I was like, why am I sacrificing that to live in Minnesota or to live or to focus on grad school, which I'm not doing anymore, by the way, that'll be in the life update as, or not, the, this is the life update. That'll be in the, what's, Oh my gosh, sorry. I told you my body does not like New Mexico. Um, I was just here last week and it was not a fan. <laughs> well, allergies are crazy. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of things happening and I've done a lot of, of self-reflecting over the last couple months, over the last year really, since I started this new career. Um, but over the last couple months specifically, uh, because I've just kind of felt stuck and I didn't really know if I was in the right place. And I was battling with what um, what I thought I should be doing and what I really want to do and what I'm really good at um, because those did not align. Those were not, those three things were vastly different things. And it was like, why? Like I kept asking myself the question why and I didn't have a good answer as to why. And that's how I knew something wasn't right. I gotta make a change. Um, and that's partially how I ended up coming home, going to LA. Um, I was too far from my family. I am a really big family oriented person and I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like, you know, I obviously still don't see them that much because I'm gone a lot, but it, it was like, I went three months without seeing them. I missed Thanksgiving, I missed Christmas, and I missed that entire, I missed my nephew's birth. I missed my nephew's first three months. I didn't even meet him until he was three months old. Um, and that, I didn't like that. I didn't like being that person. Um, family was more important to me than I think I ever realized. I knew it was important to me, but I think it was, it's a lot more than I ever realized initially. And I can't go that far again. I, I gotta, I gotta live near here. So, or near there. So LA. Um, so yeah, a lot of things have been put into perspective for me, but just, I just wanted to say hi. I just wanted to say I'm back. Sorry, it took me 14 minutes to say that. Hopefully you watched this on like three times. I don't, that might be kind of hard though, because I speak fast without it. Like I've had people tell me they have to put me on like half time. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Um, that's how you know it's bad. When I speak for 15 minutes and I already speak fast, it's like, Chloe, relax. Um, so yeah, I, if you watch this, thank you. Um, I, it feels good to be back. It feels like I'm in my element. Um, and I'm very happy that I'm back and I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited for my business to get back up and running. I've started it already, but obviously it's going to take some time to, you know, get some regular sales in. I'm changing my business model, which is also going to take some time. I'm cleansing my inventory, which is going to take some time. 
and I'm slowly getting back to YouTube and podcasting and you know by proxy Instagram obviously getting back into the content creation world I'm an, and I'm excited because that my friends is what I'm good at and reselling is what I'm good at and being a flight attendant is I'm really good at it and I love it and so those are the things I'm gonna do because that's what I love doing and that's what I'm good at period so if you got nothing else from this video um I hope you got that of like what you should be doing there's no shoulds so what you think you should be doing forget about that do what you want to do obviously do what's practical you know like yeah you want to jump off a building but like that's not gonna it's not gonna get you anywhere you know what i mean so like yeah do what you, like take it with a grain of salt do what you want to do but like you know like don't don't go into a career because you feel like you should be because you feel like you're not doing enough which is like in all reality kind of what i was feeling there i was feeling like i wasn't doing enough i wasn't living up to my full potential and i was like oh my gosh i'm like literally getting teary eyed thinking about it um but and that's just stupid that's dumb that's so dumb like why and so that's the other thing i want you to take i hope you take from this video is like always ask yourself why if you're doing something and you can't give yourself a good reason why just stop doing it and i've always treated other people that way when i've been told to do something you know like in math in math class i always had to understand why I always had to ask well, why and if they couldn't give me a why i struggled to do it and i think that's why i was struggling it's because i wasn't treating myself the same way i treated the rest of life of like i wasn't asking myself why or when i was i was just ignoring that i didn't have a good answer um or my why just wasn't good enough and i didn't care um and i got to the point where i was like you know what no i need a good why or f off like i'm not doing this chloe like stop doing this and now i know and i have a great why to do what i'm doing now and i'm happy and that's why i'm thriving and thank you guys for watching this i will see you all very soon very very soon i love you all um i'm gonna start a new tagline because it's something that i always say to the first officer as he's walking off to the plane walking off the plane and i just think it's really funny um so as always, y'all stay gold and don't fall in an engine.